What's going on everyone? James, Bourbon Bass Slayers. Came out to one of my little tiny pond spots to just see if I can find any fish on beds. This is usually one of the spots that I come to first thing in the year. It's a really small pond, if you even want to call it a pond. And uh, it's got some good sized fish in it. We've caught some decent ones out of here. And I usually come here to see if there's fish on beds. And I forgot my glasses in my house, so I need to put a second pair of glasses in my bag now without my glasses i can't really see in the water so i'm just chucking my handmade bait i've caught a couple good fish on this bait this year and i'm just tossing this guy trying to catch fish i was going to go to a different spot but i only got like a half an hour to fish so I'm going to fish for a half an hour see if i can catch one and see if i get lucky i got this bait and i got two other baits with me I limited myself on purpose, so I have to forcibly use my baits that I'm hand making to try to catch fish. So, anyways, urban bass layers, and we're gonna try to catch one. Who knows? Started going funky there. Come on. Got that bait going a little bit too erratic and got the line caught up on itself. Oh, that sucks. Good bass. Doesn't look like he's been dead for too long. Oh, looks like something got him. Oh, yeah. Something tried to eat him. Ah, I'm going to Oh, I'm sliding down. <laughs> Dead fish. That sucks.
All right. So when I walked up into the spot right here, I spooked a fish right there. So I need to be a little bit slower and a little bit quieter as I walk up on these spots because there could be some fish sitting right there in the sides and I'm not paying attention to that because I was walking too fast because I only got a little bit of time. So I'm, I'm rushing. Even with a little bit of time, you got to slow down no matter what you're doing, man. I'm, uh, I haven't got out to fish much, so I'm rushing a lot of what I'm doing right now. Rushing so much to get out of the house to go fish. I forgot my glasses, like I said. I can't see anything in this water. Got no sun and the water's muddy. There used to be a giant tree that was in this water and they came and took the entire tree out. It was kind of weird. I wonder how they did that. The entire tree's gone. Okay, a couple more casts and I think I'm gonna call it. I didn't bring any, any worms or anything like that with me. Probably should have. Wait, one of these times, man, someone's just gonna come out and destroy that thing. Now there's a tree right there, so I gotta be careful swimming this over that tree. Too mucked out for what I was expecting. Well, everyone, I think I'm going to call it a day on this spot. It's over about a half an hour. I got to walk down to the end and come back, just kind of check it out, see what the spot looks like this year. The water's really low. Yeah, I didn't really see any fish on beds yet. <clears throat> of course, I don't have my glasses, so I can't really see. But from what I'm seeing, I don't know. Usually when when the fish are on the beds in this place, they're on the beds and you can see them. So I didn't really walk the back side. I walked the one side <clears throat> through my homemade and I threw this weird contraption. And uh, it swims good, but I didn't catch fish. So we are gonna go home, tuck a tail between our legs and go uh, try to figure out how to catch some of these fish I guess the problem is is I'm uh, targeting larger fish this year um, I have caught a couple Senko fish I've caught four Senko fish and I've caught two other fish it was an eight pounder and one that was like five or six pounds we didn't have a scale I've only been out to fish like maybe six or seven times this year so I mean we're in March and I'm usually out bed fishing this time of the year if you look back on our old videos like I was doing this morning we were out smacking them off of beds at places this time of the year, so they're probably on beds in some spots. It's just gotta warm up in this next week. So in this next week, it'll warm up, the fish will be on beds. We can go bed fish. Remember to take care of the bed fish and take care of the fishery. Really what it is with the bed fishing for me is you get to walk the shores and go see what is in those ponds. Sometimes you'll see some really, really big fish. Those females will push in, they'll be in maybe a half a day on a bed sometimes, and that's it, they're gone. So. They do their deal, they do their business, and they get out of there. So, trying to target some bigger females, the ones that are still out cruising and eating. And I haven't, I haven't got a bite yet, so trying, 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 trying. Urban Bass there, thank you guys for watching. And uh, it's time, man, it's time to get out there and do some uh, fishing in California. Get out there, man.